on my way into the chamber here this morning, I had many of my colleagues on both sides of the aisle very excited, whether they were for or against the bill that's before us, come up and tell me, hey, we're doing medical marijuana this morning. And I kept correcting them, Mr. Speaker, and saying, we're not doing medical marijuana. We're doing the decriminalization of marijuana. In 14, the bill before us will not protect patients. Senate Bill 1014 will not protect family members and caregivers who are trying to do something to alleviate pain and suffering for the people that they love. Senate Bill 1014 is not going to protect doctors who take the brave step of recommending marijuana for some patients in some situations. I understand that Senate Bill 1014 sets up a revenue stream and that in some ways, I guess, in some form or fashion, is going to offer some protections to some people. But I don't know why we're choosing some people, and we're not choosing the sick people, and the people with cancer, and the people with AIDS, and the people with MS. I just don't understand why we're ignoring them and leaving them out. For many, many years, I have heard all of the different reasons why this chamber cannot pass a medical marijuana bill. I've heard that it can't pass in the House because the Senate doesn't have time. I've heard that it can't pass in the Senate because the House won't take it up. I've heard we can't pass it in either chamber because the governor won't sign it. I've heard the governor will sign it, but we don't have time to take it up. All of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, many, many of whom have worked with me and others for over nine years to bring a medical marijuana bill through these two chambers and through the governor. Mr. Speaker, the votes exist in this House and they exist in the Senate. And it is my understanding that it is the will of the governor to sign such a bill. And frankly, I'm respectfully to you sick and tired of hearing all the reasons we can't do this bill. It's always the end of the session. It's never time. It's always too late. We have time to do the underlying bill. I do not understand why we don't have time to tack this amendment on here and take it seriously that people need protection and the underlying bill doesn't give it.